shook and shocked his fellow right-wing commentators and pundits very recently when he pointed out something that they probably knew but shy away from facing. What Tucker Carlson said was that the coalition that we call the Republican Party is in fact a coalition on shaky grounds. He pointed out that on the one hand, there are the business and corporate groups that are the major backbone of the old Republican Party that provide it with its money, with its contacts, with the rich and the powerful. But the, those people are a small minority. They need, in order to govern in the United States, a mass base, a large number of people that will vote for them and with them, and to give them the security that the capitalist system that has made them rich and that they preside over is safe. And so they've made common cause with religious people, evangelicals, uh, conservatives, family-oriented people, and so on, promising them to run the society in ways that please them in exchange for them supporting capitalism, supporting the economic system. And what Tucker Carlson points out is that there's a problem with this coalition, that the reality is that the way capitalism has been run for decades now in the United States has hurt average working people, has hurt the institution of the family. You know, if you lower wages, if you take away benefits, if jobs become more insecure, that doesn't help your family hold together. It doesn't support your Christian values. It challenges them. It makes them harder to abide by. Mr. Tucker Carlson is saying what the right wing doesn't want to hear, that the alliance of the mass of evangelical Christian conservative folks with capitalism is a problem because that capitalism isn't good for them. And Mr. Tucker Carlson is worried as he should be. He's worried that if this isn't dealt with, sooner or later, maybe socialists will appeal to the mass of the Americans hurt by capitalism because of their wages, because of the insecurity of their jobs, because of the growing inequality, because of the difficulty of living paycheck to paycheck, the mass of the people that now support capitalism will be won over to a socialist alternative. And that, Mr. Tucker Carlson understands, is not good for the conservative perspective, given what socialists mostly believe, and he's also warning the capitalists, you are killing the alliance you rely on. Be very careful. Now, Republicans don't want to hear it, but the truth is it's an insight they ought to pay attention to. And if they were more self-aware, they would have long ago understood that theirs is an alliance being torn apart by the reality of capitalism and what it cannot do for the mass of people that capitalists are relying on to stay in power. This is Richard Wolff for Economic Update.